So now that we know a little bit about what a landscape is, we're gonna create a landscape. Now, if you look at my landscape here, it's got everything we just talked about. Here's the horizon line where the sky is meeting the earth. We have this and this are in our foreground. We have the pond and some more of our rows of crops in the middle ground. And we have our barn in the background. And if you notice, these rows of crops, they're all the same crop, but they get smaller as they get farther away. So when things are further away in the distance, they're smaller, they're closer up front and smaller in the distance. Now, we're gonna use some inspiration. Inspiration. We're gonna be inspired by this story that you just read. So we're gonna talk about the farm here. Remember he was on the farm picking crops with his grandpa? Well, we're gonna make a farm that has some crops. So let's get started. You wanna get a piece of paper and you wanna hold it horizontally. Remember horizontally is side to side. So hold it horizontally. Now, I'm gonna start with a marker. You, my friends, are gonna start with crayons. A black or brown crayon would be perfect for this. So the first thing I want you to do is put your hand in the middle of the paper. Now our horizon line is gonna be above that. So somewhere along here, you wanna make your horizon line. Does it have to be perfectly straight? No, because it's the land and the land's not perfectly straight. So I want you to make a line all the way across your paper and that's gonna be your horizon line. So make your horizon line. Now, I zoomed in a little bit because I want you to be able to see the barn we're gonna make. So we're gonna make a barn up here. Now, a barn's really pretty easy. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna start, we're gonna use that horizon line and we're gonna make a square. So make a square. Now we're gonna put an X in the square. So two diagonal lines going from the corner to the corner. So give me two diagonal lines. So far so good? Okay, so those are the doors to our barns. I know we started with the door. It seems a little strange, but it's gonna work. Now I want you to go here and here. So you have two parallel lines next to the door. Now we're gonna go in a little bit. We're not touching yet, we're just in a little bit. Now in between these two, I want you to find the center and put a dot right there. Now we're gonna do like an upside down V. So far so good? This is the front of our barn. Let's even put a rectangle right here for a window. That might be where we're putting the hay. Now let's do the side of the barn. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to make a parallel line to there. About the same height. And then you can draw a line across it. That's the side of our barn. Now we have to finish doing the roof. So now I want you to see the way this is angled? We're gonna go here and we're gonna angle here. And then put the line there. And we're gonna do this one more time. And there's our barn. Now if we want, we could even add a window here. So let's do another rectangle right here to give it a window. And I'm even gonna put some hay over here. Can you put some hay over there? Okay, now I'm gonna go back to where we were. Okay, so now you can see my whole paper again. Because now we're gonna make the rest of the farm. So we're gonna start up here with our road and we're gonna end it down here and it's gonna start here and it's gonna get bigger by the end. So let's do one side and it doesn't have to be straight, it could be wavy. So let's go like that. 
Now we're gonna start from the bottom this time and go up here, because we wanna go wide and go up to small. So go wide and try to follow the curves. So it's bigger here and smaller here. Now I'm gonna put away my marker. I'm going to get out some crayons. I want you to just watch this part, and then you're going to be able to do this later. You're going to add some things to your farm. What do you want to add to your farm? I added a bunch of things to my farm. I added some of the crops that he picked with his grandpa. I put a pond. I even put a flower in the front. So for my crops, I'm just going to go like this, and I start off small because, remember, these are far away. And then with each one, I'm going to get a little bit bigger. And I'm doing this kind of on the fast side. And remember, your farm doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It's your farm, and we're just being inspired by that book. We don't have to be exact by that book. So I'm kind of just making spirals here. And I'm gonna go back over them and I might even take a lighter green and go in there with them but you want to color really hard with your crayons and then I might even take some red and add some little dots like whatever they were picking maybe it's strawberries I don't know what they were picking in the book and remember they get bigger too as they get closer to you And what else are we going to do? Well, you're going to color in your barn. You're going to color in um, your pond if you wanted a pond. Let's see. Let me get a blue. I'm gonna, oh, I don't really like that blue. We'll use this blue. I'm going to make a pond. And you're going to color in nicer than Mrs. Gasher is. I'm just kind of trying to go faster because I want to show you the watercolor in part because that's my favorite. I might even put a little bit of grass. I might make another flower over here. Just want to make sure I have something in the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. Now you're also going to color in everything. Um, you're going to color this in red. You could color this whatever color you want. But I want to show you a little bit of the crayon resist. So I did a rainbow up here. And of course I did the rainbow in the right colors. I did red. I did orange. I did yellow. What comes after yellow? Do you remember? Green. What comes after green? Blue. What comes after blue? Indigo. Remember, indigo is like a dark blue. And then after that comes violet. Now, the other thing I want to show you that's really fun and cool is I'm going to use a white crayon. Mrs. Gasher, why would you use a white crayon on white paper? That just doesn't even make sense. Ah, but it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some clouds. So I'm going to color really hard with my white. Really hard. Now, I'm going to take watercolor. Now, if you don't have watercolor, that's fine. But I just wanted to show you this fun trick with watercolor. So remember, when we use watercolor, we put a little bit of water on whatever colors we think we're going to use. So I'm going to use some brown. So I'm going to put a couple drops on the brown. I'm going to use some green. And I'm going to use some blue. So now, watch what happens when I do this. The crayon has wax in it. And the crayon goes, no, 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 to the water and to the paint. No, 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 you stay away from me. So watch what happens when I paint over it. See the way it pops right off the crayon? Now remember, when you're watercoloring, you go water, paint, paper. And you go lightly with your brush. You don't dig hard on your brush. You pretend your brush is a ballerina and it's just on her toes, just on her tippy tippy toes. And we're gonna paint and see how 
the green pops right out because the wax goes no, 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 no. Isn't that cool? Now over here, I'm gonna do a little bit of the green. And the same thing, I can go right over the water. See how it just makes little dots right over it because that wax is going, no, 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 you're not coming into me. So you're gonna paint the green. Remember, water, paint, paper, because watercolor paint, paint is light. It's not a really heavy, dark like a marker is. It's a light paint. Now, let me show you my favorite trick. Are you ready for my favorite trick? Let's give a little drum roll. I'm gonna take the blue. Let's hope Mrs. Gasher did this dark enough. Let's see. <gasps> Look, there's my cloud. See how my cloud wouldn't take the water? Nor will my rainbow. And there's my cloud. Don't you just love that little trick? But it only works if you do it really hard. And notice how my blue is darker than my brown was. That's because the water was sitting on there making the paint all nice and dark. <gasps> look at my clouds. Don't they look cool? So this is what you're going to do. Now you're going to finish painting the whole thing. Now yours doesn't have to look like mine because it's yours. So we just need to do a landscape. Okay, so you need to have a horizon line, something in the background, something in the middle ground, something in the foreground. Your road needs to go small to large. And if you have watercolor, you're gonna do this cool crayon resist. If you don't have watercolor, that's just fine. You can just color it on in. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. So let's have some fun.